Welcome back, FamilyAffairs.com expert contributor, Dr. Dan Gottlieb. Welcome back. Hey, Roseanne. Dr. Dan, today I want to play a little game with you. Okay? Okay. All right. We're going to call it the wisdom of aging. Yeah, I read about that. Are you ready to play? I don't believe in that, but go on. <laughs> well, I thought it would be helpful if you could share some things that you've learned through your life now, now that you've become, I'm going to say mature, of a certain age. I know you just went to a, um, a big high school reunion. 50. Okay. And there are certain things... I'm old. I'm not mature. I'm not going to say old. <laughs> don't not, you don't like me. mature? Don't call me mature. Okay. As, me. As, as you've aged. I'm how's old. That? You're I'm old. Mature. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if you would share with me a couple of things now that you're older that you would share with your younger self that you've learned now. And I'm going to say your younger self about 30, pre your accident. What are the things that you've learned that you would like to share with your younger self? If I could meet that younger self. I would simply hold him, kiss him, cry, and say, go do your life exactly as it's laid out. No, I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't say a thing to you my would yourself, really. There's nothing that you perhaps struggled with before that you wouldn't say to yourself, relax, life is going to go how life happens, don't struggle with it, nothing? I hate when people say that crap to me. Why? Don't you? Yeah. Agent. Okay. All right. All right. Let's let, let's change this around a little bit. Okay. okay. So you, you know I that I it. have you did I got get her me. Flustered. You know that you got me flustered. I have nieces. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I have one niece in particular that reminds me a lot of me when I was her age. And I do sometimes want to say to her, she's very intense. And she's, I used to be much more intense than I am now. I know that's hard to believe. Yes. Sir. But I do sometimes want to say to her, you know what? Chill out. Relax a little bit. And what impact do you think that'll have? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> that's why you haven't said it. Okay. I look at that young man and I cry because I know what his future looks like. But I also know where I am today. And I'm one of the happiest men on the planet. Why would I want to mess with anything back then? My God, you got to be crazy. Nothing personal. That's really interesting that you say that because I recently was talking to somebody who was very close to me who went through a very, um, hard childhood, really, really tough. And she said to me, I'm the person that I am today, and I am at peace with who I am today, and I have the confidence that I have today because of what I went through. We think, who knows? Right, but so many times you see people who are struggling or have struggled, and we think that, oh, if I could only change it for that person. If I could only ease their pain, but in reality, it's going to make them who they are. What I would have wanted to do was hold that young man, that boy, hold him with love and understanding for my sake and for his. That's all. Now, 
let's take it out of the realm of theoretical, and now I am immature and old. The question now is, what do I want to say to my grandson? And I'm going to make it more clear for everyone. What if I have a month to live? What do I want to impart? I think what I want to impart first is to ask him what he would like from his pop mm -hmm. while he still can. And I do want to ask him that. There's a concept in the Old Testament and I believe in the new, called an ethical will, where we are morally obligated to document all the wisdom we've acquired in life and how we've acquired it. So that's what I would want, I have wanted to do. Not for him to learn lessons, I can't control that. But for him to understand my own humanity better, mm -hmm. and hopefully to understand his better. And if that happens, I feel blessed and I hope he does. Just to connect with our humanity, our flaws, our brilliance, our stupidity, our all of just to connect with them and take peaceful ownership. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. That's what I want. Thank you for taking this interview and totally turning it around and doing something wonderful with it. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you.